Thanks very much for watching. And if you enjoyed that clip, you can tap the link on the bottom and you can watch the full show. And now we will move on to the next game. Now we're going to the NEC conference, a conference that I know well and I enjoy watching because they have a free streaming site that I get to enjoy on a daily basis. FDU is anywhere between a two and two and a half point. Uh, underdog with a total anywhere between 141 and a half and 142. This is a spot where I will be jumping on FDU. FDU, first off, when we come when we come and talk about this line, this is just too big of an adjustment for the line. We're used to seeing FDU in the high 150s to the low 160s. Now we're seeing a, a line down to the low 140s where they are playing an opponent that is capable of hitting threes, is fast tempo, and has been able to go over numbers like this already in conference season. With FDU as a side, six out of their 10 last games as an underdog, they've cashed six of them. So they're making you money as a short dog, as a small dog, and I'm going to keep on riding that train. I think that with FDU, it is important for them to hit threes versus this three-point defense of Wagner and to win at the free throw line. This is where they have their advantages. They are a better shooting team when it comes to the free throw line, when it comes to making field goals, when it comes to shooting from beyond the arc. As long as they do a better job on the offensive glass and pressure you even when they're up, they're going to win the battle of tempo, and the battle of tempo is going to determine who's going to win this game. Point guard play will be critical, and Jaleel Jenkins is the guy and man ready to tackle the task. He is snapped out of his shooting slump and is back playing 100% with his teammates who have now returned all from injury. Whether that be Brandon Rush, whether that be Brandon Powell, whether that be Pierre Racine, you have the pieces now why FDU is favored to win this conference, and we will see them instill their will all over Wagner's face in this game. When I think about this total... Both these teams give up 70 plus. Both these teams score 70 plus. FDU has a has an ideology that Coach Horenda has instilled in all of them. Score 40 in every 20 minutes. So definitely a spot that I'm going to be getting on the over. For my personal bets, I will be looking at a first half over if I can get anything below 71. And I think that the point guard play is going to be the difference. I know that Wagner's healthier now with Morales and Elijah Ford and Elijah Allen. Definitely a versatile group and definitely a step up in competition. But I do think that FDU is the spot here. That's where I see the value. I'm taking FDU plus two and a half, and I am taking the over 141 and a half. Both of these lines are available at, oh, actually, the FDU line is available at BetMGM, and the total is available at Circa. So FDU plus two and a half minus 110 at BetMGM, and over 141 and a half minus 110 at Circa.